Welcome back to This Guy's Garage. Today we're going to talk about the five most common types of clear coat you'll find in the automotive industry and what their uses are. All this is coming up. types of clear coat. The first two are going to be, they're kind of tied at the hip. Your production, your regular production clear coat, like we have here, it's a, it's a low VOC, it's a low VOC clear coat. It'll give you an end of the gun finish. Without buffing or polishing, it will look good right out of the gun. And they're most commonly used for touch-ups like spot repair, like a panel or two panels or three panels, or an overall complete. They, uh, the reason why they call it a production clear is because it can be baked and it keeps assembly going, keeps things moving. The name is built into it. It's a production clear. It's meant to produce a lot of work. You have your Euro clear, which is another type of production clear. It it doesn't level out as well as the, the standard production clear. It almost looks like water moving. So, so you'll see this most commonly on European cars, BMWs, Mercedes. It gives you that appearance that there, there's a lot of paint on the car. Now all the paint manufacturers, PPG, DuPont, RM, Sherman Williams, if I'm leaving anybody out, my apologies, but uh, they will all have their own versions of these types of clear. Which one is the best? Not necessarily which one is the best, is what do you have access to? So not everybody has access to the same materials. It all depends on what you're working on and the finish that you want to have be in the end result. Some people like that European finish. I, I'm not a lover of it, but to each their own. Now we have our Express Clear. And the name is as it implies. The cure time on Express Clear is 45 minutes. 45 minutes to polish. Now, each each brand may give you a little different time, but 45 minutes to an hour, most of it's all polish. Polishable. You have to be careful what you're using this on. You can you can do a fender and a door, a couple of doors, but when where you get into trouble with using this because it dries so fast, if you were, tr and I've painted a hood and got away with it, not saying it can't be done, I'm just saying it shouldn't be done. If you're painting the hood, the clear dries so fast, before you get to the other side, the overspray that's in the air is actually sitting on top. It's ruining your finish. So if you had to paint something like a hood with Express Clear, I would recommend hanging it up. But Express Clear is, as the name implies, it just, it, it's fast. It's really fast. It cures super fast. So this allows shops that don't have a bake oven that do a lot of touch-up repairs or small collision repairs to be able to have production. The two last clear coats here are going to be in your automotive enthusiast lineup. You have a flat clear and that there is all it's all it's really designed for is well if you like a flat finish it will give you a flat finish but the main use that it's seen in the automotive industry today is the maintained patina. Now if you don't like using lint like the great thing about patina is some, some cars get a beautiful look to them. It took 50, 60, 70, 80 years sometimes to get that look. And you like the way it looks. You just don't want it to get any worse. So it's a layer of protection. Protection. That's why they put a, a clear over the whole, whole vehicle. And it gives a pretty cool look. So last in the five is your glamour clear. As the name implies, it's going to give you a glamour finish. But it's not out of the gun Glamour finish. Glamour clear coats are designed to be put in multiple, multiple coats. Sometimes four or five coats. Then the whole vehicle is sanded in stages. So you start at 1,000, 2,000, 3,000, 4,000. You work your way up, and it gives uh, it gives you a completely flat finish to be able to polish back up, and it will look like it was dipped. But it's not an out of the gun finish. If you want a good out of the gun finish. You cannot go wrong with a good production clear. It will 
probably yield you the best results out of the gun. Express Clear, if you're getting into the auto body hobby, this will take that fear of getting runs out of your life because it's it's nearly impossible. To, not, it's not impossible to get runs, but it's nearly impossible to get runs. It dries so fast. It snaps over so fast that you, you will not get runs with it. You, you can get a run with it, don't get me wrong, but it's hard to get a run with it. Hopefully that told you everything that you needed to know about the five main clear coats in the automotive industry. If you have any questions, put them in the comment section down below. If you think there's anything that I missed that I should have included in the list, let me know. So thanks again for stopping by this guy's garage. If this video helped you out some, you can help us right back by hitting that subscribe button. It'll be right there. You can watch another video right around here somewhere. And until the next time, folks, this guy out.